There's a Resident Evil series coming to Netflix. Esports are protesting. Microsoft hires Bungie veteran for Halo Infinite and Ubisoft's Inside Out mug and more. Hey guys, welcome back to Last Week in Gaming with me, Evan Woodruff, your one-stop shop for last week's hottest video game news. On Wednesday, the Milwaukee Bucks did not take the floor in their scheduled playoff game with the Orlando Magic in protest of the shooting of Jacob Blake. And this caused a domino effect within the NBA, causing them to postpone all games and other sports followed suit as well. But more interestingly, this has trickled down to esports teams as well, as Team Liquid and Chaos EC postponed their CSGO match on Thursday, August 27th. Now is not the time for games. We are mad. We are exhausted. We know that gaming is a part of the problem. We will not be competing today in order to do our part to move the light where it belongs on the protest against this country's continued systemic racism and police brutality. Postponing games in and of itself is not going to fix the issues that we face, and we all need to understand that. But it does help bring attention to it, and we all must do whatever we can to overcome this difficult time. Netflix is making an original live-action Resident Evil TV series. <laughs> wow. The TV series will be produced by Constrained Film, which is the same company that made the previous six Resident Evil films. The series will be an original story set across two separate timelines. Even better, Brown Hughes, who is the director for Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, is going to direct the first two episodes of the series. This is going to be sick. I don't even like scary movies or horror in general, but I'm sure ready to shit my pants for this series. <laughs> Halo Infinite has been delayed. We all know this, but in their delay, Microsoft has hired Joseph Staten to work on the campaign. If you don't know who Joseph Staten is, he is a real veteran of the Halo series. At Bungie, he wrote the scripts and even directed the cutscenes for the first three Halo games. But hiring such an influential figure begs the question of how much work still needs to be done and when will we actually get to play the game? Again, take your time. I'd rather this game be delayed than rushed and turn out bad. In other news, you can apparently score a goal in Warzone. There's a soccer ball in the stadium, and if you shoot it, literally with your gun, into the goal, this happens. <laughs> Pretty dope. I just know that I'm probably gonna die like 10 times next time I play with my buddy. He's gonna rage at me wondering what I'm doing until... Ya lo hace. Pierna derecha, directo al arco. Golazo! Golazo! Here's to hoping this turns into a full-fledged minigame. Ubisoft created a coffee mug that looks like this. Not sure what they're going for here, but I'm gonna call this a mug with a bug. In an ongoing controversy with YouTube and the creator of Doki Doki Literature Club, a free visual novel game on Steam, Dan Silvato's channel is being demonetized for using music he composed from the game he created. After months of this happening, Dan took to Twitter, letting YouTube know he is the creator of the game and the composer of said music that is causing the channel to be demonetized. Now, one would assume that YouTube would realize that the creator is uploading original soundtracks that he composed and fix the issue. Wrong. YouTube sends a generic, borderline, hilarious response. They said, your channel may be lacking context about the creative value you're adding to make the content unique. We recommend changing your overall content strategy and reapply in 30 days to send your channel for new review. Check out the best practices here. <laughs> they said, Dan Salvato is lacking in creative value. If you've ever played Doki Doki, you know this is not true, like at all. Come on YouTube, you're better than this. Well, maybe not. In other news, the game taking over the world right now, Fall Guys Season 2, is finally coming out, which will be a medieval theme. And they said that they will start booting cheaters from games before they finish. I can't wait to see somebody fly across their map with their cheats feeling confident and powerful just to instantly disconnect. The Sims 4 is getting a Star Wars expansion pack, so I guess you can start a career now as a Jedi or bounty hunter or evil Sith Lord or just be a packing boy on the Death Star. And finally, TSM has signed Hikaru Nakamura as their first pro chess player. Hikaru is huge in the chess scene and has five US championships and is currently the highest rated blitz player in the world. Meanwhile, Cloud9 is getting jealous and is attempting to court his rival, Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> hey, Magnus, we didn't get Hikaru, but second choice is always best, right, baby? Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching Last Week in Gaming. I also want to apologize for the lack of content recently as I have not actually been focusing on YouTube as much after my father's death recently. But 
I will be back with another uh, Last Week in Gaming video next week. So subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the latest gaming news and also to follow along in our journey through older games. Follow me on Instagram at vicarious underscore underscore gaming and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash VG underscore Evan D. Also, if you haven't already, just take that split second to hit the like button. It helps me so much more than you know. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. Stay safe out there. And of course, happy gaming.